Yes, yes, what is up everybody? We're doing it, it's the first stream of the year. The very first stream of the year. And I gotta say, usually I'm pretty stressed out in these mornings before I stream. And this morning was the chillest morning of, of it's been a long time since it's been this chill before a stream, so I'm, I'm excited. It's good to have y'all here. We got, if you listen carefully, what's that sound? We got, we got some music popping off. Soda Monte crushing it, um, really helping me make these streams as good as they can be. So we're working on them, we're making them good for y'all. Welcome back, thank you for joining me. We're gonna do some cool stuff. Um, now if you don't know what we're doing, then I should probably tell you. So right now, I'm running this challenge, it's called the Infinite Journeys 3D Community Challenge, where I'm challenging all of y'all 3D artists who are passionate out there, who wanna just create and level up. Uh, with a little prompt. I got a prompt for you. You can download it. If you hadn't started yet, um, you can just, you know, in the description, you'll see all the stuff for getting started. It'll take you to the Discord page where you'll get the download link and everything for all the project files. Now, what I'm challenging y'all to do is create the coolest render montage of all time. So each, of, each one of y'all are going to take a little tiny five second piece of some sort of travel montage, you're gonna put your character in, you're gonna put a character, at least one, um, in a mode of transportation of some sort. And I'm gonna piece them all together, and you know how this stuff this stuff works. We're gonna to put together the sickest travel montage ever in March, and then we got a top 100 montage as well. We're giving out prizes, we got sponsors, we got Maxon, Camp MoGraph, Wacom, Rococo, uh, The Looking Glass, and MoGraph.com. You guys are gonna win a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, the prizes are nuts. The prizes are absolutely insane. If you don't know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the announcement video. It's the video I posted right before this, and uh, come right on back and get excited because we're gonna be working on our submissions together. I'm gonna start my submission with y'all guys right here, and we got D Vaughn Williams in the house. It's a brand new stream, son. What up, Devon? God dang, Devon. We go back all the way back to high school. He's coming out soon, it's gonna be exciting. Um, what else are we doing? So the stream, what else are we doing on the stream? So basically here's what's gonna happen. Um, Y'all are working on your submissions for infinite, uh, infinite Journeys. I'm gonna show you some of those submissions, show you what I like, what I think y'all are doing a good job with. Um, we'll do that somewhere in, in the middle of this stream. But I'm just gonna get right to work. I'm gonna take my 2D concept that I put together in Photoshop. I'm gonna show you how I did that. 
I'm gonna show you how I came up with my idea, why I'm choosing the idea that I'm choosing, and then I'm gonna take that and make a 3D block out in Cinema 4D. I've already started it, I'm just gonna perfect it. So by the end of the stream, the goal is to have a nice 3D block out of my 2D concept. So that's what we're doing, we're taking it step by step. And then, yeah, we're gonna do some uh, weekly challenge winners at the end of this stream, because we do weekly challenges on the Discord as well. But you know what, y'all? I have rambled for far enough. So let's switch it over to the sponsor of today's stream, the first sponsor of the Infinite Journey stream. Back in a minute, don't move your butts. I'll see you in a second. Now, I know y'all know the answer to this one. What's the one thing that all of us 3D artists can't create without? Computers. You know, we use them every single day and rely on them to create our 3D art. Except for maybe that one dynamic machines artist who rendered their submission on their phone. How you did that, I will never know, but I do know. Micro Center is the first official sponsor of the Infinite Journeys live streams. If you're looking for an affordable workstation, computer parts, electronics, networking tools, TVs, laptops, monitors, you name it, Micro Center has got you covered. And I know that PC part prices have been off the charts for a while, but Micro Center is running deals all the time. So if you're looking for parts at the lowest price, click that link in the description to see what you can find. And if you're an artist who needs an affordable workstation, Micro Center has knowledgeable staff over the phone and in store who can help you find the best rig for your budget. And if you're like me and miss the good old days of going into the store and actually holding the item in your hand that you're gonna buy to see if it works or not, then book those plane tickets because because Micro Center is giving anybody, anybody who walks in off the street and into one of their stores a free 240 gigabyte solid state drive. So the next time you're in a pinch and need computer parts, lots of computer parts, then Micro Center has got the best deals. Click that link in the description to get the deals, to get the free 240 gigabyte SSD and load up on your computer parts for your very next render. Good times. Very good times. Shout outs to Micro Center. Thank you for sponsoring this one. Really appreciate it. Good times. Good times at Micro Center. It's the, like the last place you can actually walk into and pick up some parts. Fries, they went out of business. They couldn't hang on. They didn't do it. Micro Center is still standing up. So appreciate y'all. Um, what are we doing now? Let's hop into it. So I'm going to switch on over and going to give a little, little shout outs to people here before we jump in. All right, so we got Visual in the house. What up, Visual? Uh, one of our moderators holding it down on the Discord server. Of course, Sotomonte behind the scenes right now helping me with the stream. Uh, I saw my buddy D. Von Williams, one of my very best friends up in here. Who else do we got? Any familiar faces? What's up, everybody? 4K Productions. Good to see you. How you doing? We got Blender users, we got C4D users, we got Unreal Engine users, we got everybody in the house. It doesn't matter what program you're using. All that matters is what you're creating and that you're having a good time doing it. So that's exciting, very exciting. What's up, Philip? Noah? It's going down. Yo, Slate, we got Slate in the house. What's up, Slate? Render Warrior, good to see you again. It's been a minute. Thanks for making it back. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Damn, we got everybody up in the house. What's going on? It's really good to see y'all back here. I'm just really excited about like all the stuff that we've been doing and setting up for um, in January. Obviously, you know that I hadn't streamed at all in January because I'm trying to make the, the best foundation um, for myself, for this channel, for the Discord before we just hop into it blindly, right? Um, so we have some really exciting stuff for the Discord planned even after this challenge. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get into it. It's going to be some cool stuff. I can't really announce anything yet, um, but just know that right after this challenge, we're going to have some cool stuff popping off on the Discord. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Discord server, it's a place for, you know, artists like yourself to get together and just have a sense of community and get people to help you out. You know, you can answer questions. You can ask questions. It's a good time. It's a good place to learn and grow together. That's the whole point. Bobby, shout outs, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for the super chat. What will the trans transition be on the challenge? And do we add it into our renders? There is no transition. There is no transition at all. Uh, it's just a cut, a simple cut, and it's going to be a match cut. Now, if y'all don't know what a match cut is, 
let me let me show you really quick so basically a match cut is like when when you go okay so if you all have seen 2001 a space odyssey it's basically when uh the monkey throws the bone up into the air and then the camera's on the bone and then the bone it cuts to the spaceship that is in the shape of that bone that's a match cut so it's like two two images that are, that have like similar visual weight and that's what we're doing in this challenge um let me pull up the so this is my block out this is what i've created so far and um let me open up the base file for you so you guys can get an idea of what we're looking at here um ba -ba 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 -ba. i think this is it yep here we go so this is the base project file you'll be getting if you hit play it's 120 frames five seconds long 24 fps um and you got a window you can put some characters um here in these seats kind of looks like a train but it's supposed to be open to any vehicle it could be a car it could be a motorcycle it could be a spaceship it could be in my case uh i don't know i'm trying to go between like a a speeder looking thing i don't know if this dude is trying to set the ground speed record or if they're in an airplane but we'll get into that in a minute but what's uh the connecting points between all of these submissions is this window so you need to keep this window relatively the same size now obviously depending on the shape of your scene like and the shape of your vehicle that window will change but you can see here i have the majority of that that chunk still available right so that's the original window that you're looking at and then obviously you can see how my window basically fits in that your window is going to change that's okay just know that it needs to be the central large focal point of your submission and you got to throw a character in there get your character in there somewhere it's going to be cool so i'm very excited we're, we're going to like we we nearly have what 3800 was the last i checked how many people do we have in this challenge right now we have 3,800 people who are working on some renders. So that's that's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. So Bobby, long answer to your question, it's gonna be a simple cut and we're gonna use the match cut technique um, to blend all of these renders together very much like we did in alternate realities or parallel dimensions. And who else do we got? We got another super chat popping off. Tret, appreciate you. It's not a bribe. You know, I didn't take it as such, but now that you mention it, I don't. You know, you, you didn't have you didn't have to to mention the bribe because now it is. I don't I don't know what you're trying to bribe me to do, but I'm not gonna do it. I will say thank you for the super chat though. I appreciate you. Good stuff. Who else we got before we hop into it? Um, Aaron, does it need to be closed? Is it an open buggy or an elephant seat? Uh, is within the rules. Um, look. This one, we tried to really keep it as simple as possible. We got four simple rules. Keep it moving to the right. So, yeah, sure, it could be open as far as that rule goes. Capture the sense of movement. Of course, it can still be open. Add at least one custom character and don't touch the camera. Yes, it can be open for sure. Um, we kept these rules as simple as possible for you to just have as much creative freedom as possible. As long as you have um, a, a character in your scene and you maintain uh, this window, essentially, then you're good. You're good to go. It's a travel montage. I think as long as you guys know that, we're, we're going to be in a good spot. Okay. I'm sure I'm missing a couple things, but, you know, we're going to we're gonna get into examples from the community, from you guys, uh, maybe halfway through the stream. But let's get started. Let me show you what I have here in Photoshop, what I created here in Photoshop. So basically, I just put together this sketch to try and capture the vibe of my scene to see what I'm going for. Um, I'm using Pure Ref as well. That's a great program for gathering reference material. And let me load up what I'm referencing right now. Right, so we got Mad Max, we got Interstellar, Star Wars, Alien. Um, this is from the movie Sunshine up here. 
All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna go for a spaceship kind of vibe, or if I'm gonna go for more of like a Mad Max wasteland truck kind of vibe. And it might be a split between the two. Um, I'm looking at, of course, you know, fighter jet cockpits and whatnot. You can see how this little console here, how it ramps up. I'm using that right in here. So that's where I stole that. And then of course, like for sunshine, the sunshine reference, you see all these monitors up top, right? So you can see I threw those in and basically I'm going to record this with the Rococo um, SmartSuit Pro 2, right? And I want it, I want to be able to like, okay, so here's the idea. Here's the, here's the pitch. Here's the pitch. So basically it's a character getting into a chair, strapping up, locking in, hitting all the switches, tick, 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 tick. Um, you know, like cranking all the levers, moving all the buttons as the engine is like starts up little camera shake. Um, you see, you hear the engine start to rev and they're stationary at this point. They're stationary. Since my render is starting it off, I'm going to start it stationary and then ramp up into all the other renders. And then basically once it's all armed and ready to go, strapped in, we're going to blast off and I'm going to have a bunch of like little dangly trinkets and ornaments in this person's vehicle slash spaceship so that when they start taking off you see all of them start to like move backwards and I, I really want to capture that sense of like just thousands of pounds of pressure pushing you back into your seat and blasting you off and then maybe there's going to be a secondary blast where it goes like even more intense and then it goes boom right into the rest of the renders so my goals are to capture the the g-forces um, and to build out this cockpit uh, in a way that isn't too over ambitious but allows me to one make it feel like this character's cockpit like it's their ship or their car so I need to personalize it and I also need to figure out a way and design it in such a way that all of these buttons and switches are accessible within arm's reach when I have the Rococo suit on right I'm gonna be like switching and moving all these levers and I'm gonna actually have to set up like here in my little room here, I'm going to have to set up a, like a makeshift little cockpit and actually have to twist some water bottle caps or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll get there. That might be stream three. <laughs> uh, we're doing this every single week. So that's the idea. And that's what I tried to sketch out here. I really wanted to see if I could make this work. Um, yeah, I started very simple. Let's see. Yeah, I started very simple. And let me just walk you through my process here. This was a great way for me to actually like see if the idea that I had in my head would be able to come across visually. All right, so I just from the ground up. I like this background. I don't know. I just got a chalkboard background, so I threw it in there. This is the original template, right? So I and this was the uh, boundaries for the window. And I came in and I basically just, you know, sketched a pi this pilot here. Of course, using the Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, which you guys can win for the first, uh, third, second, first, second, and third place gets a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. And yeah, it's, um, it's great for sketching, as you can see, because I just sketched this thing out. I have different arm positions to make sure that, like, you know, this person can reach different parts of the vehicle. Boom. A little overlay and I just kind of sketched out the cockpit here filled in the window added a little bit of shading just to be able to tell like what the heck is going on and then of course you know I like I don't know that's not obvious <laughs> I just for some reason I moved it to the left um, gave it a little bit more shading on the guy and then this is the of course this is the thumbnail version where you like super just you crunch it down super hard you make everything uh super contrasty and unsharp mask the heck out of it and then i wanted to add some speed lines and like you know spice up that hand a little bit so this is the idea um and i highly suggest y'all do something similar if you hadn't done it already and you're just well on your way then hey no worries keep going for me i wanted to make sure that 
I didn't jump into something that like wasn't going to work. If I'm going to spend a month of my life doing this, I want to make sure that it's like the coolest thing possible and it pushes me. This is going to be a challenge for me, no doubt. Um, from the modeling alone, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. But also the character, that's the biggest thing I'm worried about is the character. And I'm sure a lot of y'all are too. But to figure out how to make this character look good, I don't know if I'm going to do a photo scan and limit it to just simple movements like this. But having some cloth physics would definitely be the coolest possible thing. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure that one out. And I'll let you know, again, throughout these weeks, I'm gonna let you know how it goes and the things I figure out. So yeah, really doing this, um, this concept helped out a lot. Now, if you look at these references, I'm gonna be coming back to these a ton. And this is crucial, this is so crucial, right? for actually like guiding your path, guiding what you're doing. Cause I could just make this up in my head and it would be like, okay. It probably wouldn't feel real if I just made it up in my head. I'm, I'm no Kim Jong Ji, that guy. If you don't know who Kim Jong Ji is, YouTube that guy, that dude's a master. But yeah, having reference like this Y'all know, I say it every time. It's the key to making your stuff look recognizable and grounding it in some sort of reality. Like these rivets here on the side of the spaceship is incredible. This is from Alien. What a crazy shot here. <laughs> the fact that they did this for real, she's in this actual, this power loader, I don't know what it's called. And then of course you have the alien here, like, Ugh, movies, man. Movies won't be like this. They aren't like this anymore. Or they're very rare, that's for sure. This is just a close-up of some buttons to see some wear and tear. I'll know, I know I'll need that later. Um, some helmet ideas. Top Gun. And of course, we have a car here with some roll cages built in. I think I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to take this roll cage design. Combine something like this with something like this. So that's all I know right now. I told you guys everything I know. Hans, shout outs to you. I appreciate you uh, super chatting there, super cool. It will be your first time creating a character. You know, it's gonna be my first time too. I've always just done photo scans. I think this time is really gonna be a challenge for me. So we're in it together, brother. I appreciate the super chat, very kind of you. We got 1,200 people up in this chat right now. That's what's up. Heck yeah. Welcome everybody. So let's get cranking um, by a show of hands. Who is already working on their submission? Give me a thumbs up. If you want to join this challenge but haven't downloaded the files yet, give me a smiley face and if you're one of those people putting a smiley face down right now, then click that link in the description because I got you covered. It's going to take you to the Discord. The Discord server is, is our hub for this entire thing. It has all the technical rules. It has everything you need to know. It has the download files, etc., etc. So hop in there, download the template file. You're going to see something like this. We have, we have versions for, I'm not going to say everything, but we have Blender, we have C4D, we have an FBX, we have Unreal Engine. Uh, we have unity we have maya right now so whatever you can get your hands on we got a lot of thumbs ups that's good to see wait, wait clarice there's a clarice file really oh my god y'all people are hooking it up i know there's an unreal 5 file out there somewhere floating around there's a clarice file for sure too <laughs> i really appreciate y'all good community yeah we got tons of thumbs ups this is awesome. People from India hanging out. Shout outs to y'all in India. I know it's late out there, but I really appreciate y'all making this one. All right. Let's try and block this thing out. Mm. All right. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add. 
I'm going to add my sketch to my references here so I can actually like, so I can see what's going on. Okay, I'm close here. Like I'm certainly close, but I want to, by the end of the stream, I want to have a block out that like is the official block out where I can start going into detail on, right? I want to do the most broad strokes. That's what we're doing. We're, we're Bob Ross in the first five minutes right now. And we're laying down our, our, you know, our base coat. You know, we're getting the whole, the whole canvas covered in paint right now. And the paint colors that we think, uh, that we know we're going for right based off of our reference so if we can get to that point we can get those broad strokes in maybe let's work on this roll cage because i like the idea of this being a really 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 fast rocket car um so i want it to have elements of of the car to it and having the roll cage be in there is is probably uh probably a good thing to do right that'll really kind of give it that car feel um so i'll add a little bit of this here these welded pipes and whatnot i think having some like little mirrors off to the side that'll be some good detail to, that we'll do later and maybe there's like a i don't know maybe we do a windshield like this or something i'll have to figure that one out But now you're going to just watch me struggle for the next hour. So buckle up, y'all. I hope you're all working on your renders and have a good one. So if y'all are in C4D, I'm using uh, zero, hockey zero, to grab this old tool over here, the rectangular selection tool, and it actually grabs uh, points that you can't see. I really use it for that, it's very handy. Now I am but at modeling I can only do the most basic of models um, I feel like my expertise lies in like the lighting the atmosphere I'm, I'm really <laughs> I'm setting myself up for for a good challenge here but hey that's the whole point of this thing is to push ourselves out of that comfort zone just a little bit So I'm trying to work on a windshield, a front windshield right now. So this character, um, uh, Jorn, 
is from Mixamo. It's just a stand-in template character. Comes rigged and everything, so Mixamo's definitely a great resource. I'm sure a lot of y'all know. Um, Neighborhood, what up? Yo, thank you for the super chat. You're saying you're not a 3D artist, but um, my work and the community projects are next level. Hey, I really appreciate that. I try. <laughs> um, the community projects, no doubt. Like, those are absolutely incredible. It's so cool to see everyone put their hardest, uh, best work into that month and then have them be combined together. It's like the sickest thing ever. Can't wait to see the submissions for this one. Same, dude. Same. Thank you for the super chat, neighborhood. And uh, Firefox browser account. Shoutouts. Um, okay, Sajal is your girlfriend and you are you are very happy that you guys are together. That's awesome. Shoutouts to Sajal, to Sajal and Firefox browser. Um, <laughs> your name is Lakesh. Lakesh and Sajal holding it down for the rest of us. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. All right. Hmm. Man, I'm so trash at modeling, but you know, we're gonna get we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. So I set up this little um, spline extrude bool situation to be able to tweak the shape of my window easily. So that's going to come in handy for sure. And yeah, I'm actually using the little doodle tool to make sure it's staying within the actual window. Um, which is a great little tool. In C4D, I'm in uh, R25 here. And right at the bottom, there's the doodle paint tool. And I'm just using that to, just as a reference here in my scene. It helps out a lot. So once I get my, uh, John Malcolm, yo, what's up, man? Hey, so you feel that the roll cage section should really all have the same profile slash diameter. 100%, dude, this is just the block out. I'm like, these these aren't final pieces. I'm just getting the, the shape and feel of this right now. Um, so right now y'all can see that this template window outline is different than the shape of my actual window. Um, and that's okay. You know, I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but uh, we know that based on the vehicle you choose for your, for your scene, that shape will change. That's just a given, right? There's no car that has this square window. Um, unless it's like a limousine or something. I, I don't know. Um, so as long as you maintain like roughly the same visual weight as this outline, you're going to be set. So no need to worry there. Right. And again, it's this window, this central large window that is the cutting point between all of these renders. So we're going to be match cutting using this window as that central focus point. 3D Gala, what's up? Yo, good to see ya. Thanks for making it out and thank you for the super chat. Very kind of you. So you're curious, why is this challenge 69 instead of a cinematic ratio like alternate realities was? Is it just to simplify things and reduce disqualifications or is there another reason? There's actually a couple of reasons. The first reason is because um, it was difficult to find the right balance between the character and this window. And if we were to go 16.9 on this, meaning if I were to change this to 1920 by 810, you'd see it cuts off this top window. And I wanted I wanted the entire window to be in the frame and not just 
leave frame like that right um and it scrunch it totally scrunched our doodle there um like this looks cool no doubt um but i would prefer to have the window in and to just have more on screen essentially um so that was the main reason another reason too is youtube also doesn't have the ability to add um like annotations or anything to videos that are natively uploaded in 16.9 or uh sorry not not 69 235 235 which is really they need to fix that they definitely need to fix that so yeah those are a couple of reasons as to why we did it there may have been another that i can't think of right now um was there another um i don't think so but it is a very standard ratio that people are pretty familiar with so that has it going for it as well but thanks for the question and the super chat and uh digital ape 2000 thank you very much for the super chat thank you very much dude you've got amazing content i'm super excited since it's my first time watching your stream yes yes welcome welcome to the stream thank you for the support um if you're not subscribed already then subscribe and uh yeah i'm gonna be filling it up with lots of good stuff you're gonna see more streams like this throughout this entire month as we're doing the infinite journeys challenge and you know what digital you should totally uh you should join us you should challenge yourself um all right let's get back to this thing it's tough you know it's streaming is tough i don't know how people do it you know I, I've never tried playing a game and streaming because I think by playing the game and screaming at your friends that might be entertaining in itself but what I'm trying to do here is a little bit different I'm trying to get y'all inspired I'm trying to educate y'all as much as I can and doing that while also <laughs> trying to get work done myself is difficult it's difficult I'm not gonna lie It takes a lot of a lot of focus. Ah, oh, this geometry is horrible, but you know what? It's all good. It's only a block out. Stanked even is that the name stanked even well, that's quite the name um much love for the super chat will there be a live stream of the submissions there will be there absolutely will be yeah we're gonna do a live judge we'll do top 100 live judging um stream in like the very beginning of march basically where will we we will unveil the top 100 and reveal the five winners who are winning a bunch of crazy stuff um we got looking glasses we got rococo smart suit pro twos um with with the gloves tracking and everything we got an all expenses paid trip to camp mograph here in the u.s we got wacom intuos pro tablets we got mograph.com courses um we got max on one subscriptions we got uh i goodness what else do we have? Um, I think I said everything. The sponsors, they're, they're down in the description if you want to check them out, see what y'all can win. Um, but it's going to be nuts. And the prizes are international too, so you don't have to be in the US to win these. Sam, yo, what's up? Thanks for the super chat. You should convince Peter to participate. You know, I would. I feel weird asking friends to like, hey, you should do this. You should join this challenge that I set up. I don't know. I would love for everyone to do this challenge and having friends do them. It's a very nice little, like little secret, little reward, you know, as I'm going through looking at stuff like, Oh, I know this person. It feels good. It's cool. And we got uh, digital ape. Once again, thank you very much. You're working on it right now. I love it. 
making a steampunk robot on a train going by steampunk city that's what i like to hear that sounds awesome rudy pav good night enjoy that slumber that sweet sweet slumber okay All right, let's see if I can't just take this piece here. And break it off with UP. Bring it out of the bool there. This will be our windshield. Just a rough block here of what we're doing. Hitting W to switch between local and world orientation. We want to flip those normals. With UR is going to flip your normals. So orange is correct and blue is incorrect. <laughs> now you're coming through my speakers. Hold on. <laughs> I think people can hear you. Say hello, Soto. Hello, Sam. <laughs> All right, let me try and get you in my ear here. One second. Soto Monte holding it down. Uh, let's see. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. All right, back at it. <laughs> All right, so let's solo this thing. I'm just going to select it. So, whoa, hold on now. I think that was the wrong one. What is happening? There we go. Um, we gonna solo it. Looking good. All right, let's make some slices. Very simple here. Um, we'll go one down the middle, holding shift. That's gonna lock that right down the middle. And by the way, this is UL. I'm hitting KL rather. That's your loop path cut tool. You can right click and get it down here. Holding shift, get it right up in there. Um, let's go to uh, hit nine. That's gonna be your main selection tool. We'll select both of those. And I believe it's MW for, nope, nope, nope. It's been a minute, hold on. M, at, no, okay, hold on, I gotta get my mind right. It's been a minute since I've been in C4D. Um, extrude inner, I think that's what I'm looking for. Oh no, I was right. It was inset. MW. Nah, I'm still chilling. Sweet. All right, you see how it's bringing it in like that? I want to have that central divider, so we need to check, uncheck preserve groups. Boom. Get rid of those windies. You know what? Let's give it some depth. So I'm going to hit D for extrude and just kind of push it back. And let's undo that. We want to uncheck create caps. There we go. And then I'll delete those. Cool. On solo. Hop back into camera and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have a window up there. I think we need to bring it down a little bit.
There we go, something like this. Jonko, hit me with the super chat. Thank you, brother, appreciate you. First time watching the stream and starting my second month using Blender. So excited to see everyone work. Yes, yes, that's what's up. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a good time. I hope Blender's going all right for you. Um, I know it's a great program and a lot of people here use it. Um, so keep up the good work and I hope you're joining this challenge. This is like the best way to learn how to use a program is to give yourself a reasonable amount of time. We have a month and a challenge. That's what you got and it's going to be sweet. So keep it up, man. I hope you're doing it. I hope you're doing the challenge. Thank you for the chat. I appreciate you. And save polar bears. I'm down for that. I'm down. Uh, thank you also for the super chat. This is your first render challenge as well and your first time getting into any 3D program blender as well. Yes, yes. Hey, if this is your first challenge and your first time getting into 3D, give me a shout out, give me a thumbs up. That's awesome. Um, and seeing how you navigate through all these different options and menus is so confusing to watch. Hey, I appreciate you uh, saying that. Yeah, so this is how I like to think of it, right? So basically, when you first start a program and you open it up for the first time, you are paralyzed. You don't know what to do. You can't move anywhere because you don't know where to go. You don't even know how to crawl yet. But you downloaded the program because you were excited about creating 3D in the first place, right? So the way I think of it is like you, you have a fire burning inside um, that's like, yo, we got to do something about this urge to create 3D stuff, right? So you downloaded Blender. And I'm sure you found some tutorials, you found some YouTube channels, um, such as this one, maybe Blender Guru, um, maybe a little bit of Ian Hubert, maybe some CG Geek. You know, there's a lot of different YouTube channels that uh, are 3D based. Um, my, my channel is kind of like a bunch of different programs. I mainly use C4D and Unreal. Um, and then you have programs dedicated to certain certain programs like Blender, like Blender Guru, right? So you did that. You're you're following basically what you want to do. You're finding the things that get you excited and you're doing it. So you're doing this challenge, which is amazing. I love it. And like I said, it's a great way to learn and get, you know, just to dive in and start knocking out um, some of those creative goals that you have, right? But when you say going through these menus and it gets really confusing. Hang in there, okay? Hang in there. Because when you first start the program, getting back to my uh, my my, uh, my example from before, you're frozen, you don't even know how to crawl yet. But the more you learn how to navigate the program, I think that's the first thing is just learning how to navigate the program. Watch a tutorial on how to navigate Blender and where stuff is. Please do that. Because then you can at least start crawling. And now you know where the kitchen is now you know where the living room is now you know where the bedroom and the bathroom are the garage right so you know you can get into these different rooms but there's a lot of different things in those rooms too so you have to dive deeper into those rooms and then pull out all the drawers and there's all these little things in each drawer right so take it step by step and just know that like as you as your creative passion drives you to stay in the program you're going to unlock new things in that program my biggest piece of advice would be to know it takes time and to also learn your shortcuts. Learning your shortcuts is like the the, the cheat code. It's the secret to, you know, to, fly, to eventually get into the point where you're flying around the program. You can skip steps. You can go from crawling to a fast walk, you know, if you learn your shortcuts and it's gonna help you get ahead of the game. So please learn them. Um, they're available online and they probably in blender it says probably says what the shortcuts are so um, Yeah, learn your shortcuts definitely learn your shortcuts. They help out a lot But anyway save polar bears. Thanks for the super chat appreciate you All right, this window needs to come down Maybe something like that.
when I was younger, and even still now, still at this point, I would get really like bummed about my drawings because my drawings didn't look as good as I wanted them to look when I was like halfway through the process, even a quarter into the process. I'm like, oh, my drawing doesn't look good. And I'm only a quarter of the way in. I'm not done with it yet, but it doesn't look good. And that would really discourage me. And worst case scenario is you, you stop drawing. That's the worst case scenario. Or in this case, you know, we're creating a 3D scene and this doesn't look good. <laughs> I got geometry all over the place. This kind of sucks. But it's okay, you know, it's gonna be okay. You just need to keep taking time and keep putting time into it, keep working on it. Keep massaging it, right? And it's gonna turn out, it's gonna look sick in the end. You just gotta know that it's gonna look sick in the end. And the best way to kind of work that muscle is to do it often. Which, you know, brings me to, I don't know, this is, we have a weekly challenge. Excuse me, this kombucha, you know. Too much kombucha, just... <sighs> On the Discord server, we do weekly challenges. And those help artists really work those muscles every single week. Right now, we're not doing them because we're doing this monthly challenge, the Infinite Journeys challenge. But as soon as this is over, we're going to be popping off weekly challenges, and we're even thinking about doing a yearly challenge, uh, which I can't wait to tell you more about. Um, and just on that subject, you know, we're going to do monthly, we're trying to do like monthly themes as well to help artists really have, uh, you know, a direction of like what they can start working on and stuff. So keep working at it. Just keep working at it. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. We got another super chat. Um, Peter, yo, my goodness. Very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that super chat. So you're saying blender, um, you have electricity cuts one times or two times per day. Okay. Okay. So you got power outages once or twice a day. Is there a way to increase render time? Um, like by like lowering the quality of the assets or, uh, a faster video format and then maybe, f uh, format video online for size looking for options. No blender render farm. Well, let's see. Let me, let... okay, so Soda Monte is up in, up in my ear right now. He's telling me there's a free render car render farm called sheep it, um, which you can use and check out. Also, I would recommend a, um, like a battery backup system. If you have the ability to get that, um, we had them at corridor and they basically, it's basically a brick. It's a big old battery which you plug your computer into and then you plug that battery into the wall. I believe that's how it works. And then you're running your computer right through the wall. But if the power goes down, the backup battery system, boop, boop, it boots up and it keeps your computer going for however long it needs to go for or until the power comes back on. So I would definitely look into a backup battery system. Um, and then that sheep it render farm, if you're trying to do a little bit of render farm action. So hopefully that helps you. And we got MG as well. Shout outs for the super chat. No, not even a message, just a shout out. What's good, MG? Thank you. I love your picture. I'm down for some sloths. It looks like either a sloth or a penguin. Either or, I'm down. All right, so let's take my own advice and not give up on this block out because it's looking chunky right now. And then maybe we have like this central piece control drag to duplicate and we just hit T for scale, go wide with it, bring it to the end. This is your dashboard essentially. 
I can see how this would connect easily. Right up in there, that can connect nicely. Let's see what that looks like. I'm not, I'm not upset with that. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I am not upset with that. It looks cool. Um, I think we can get some nice little dashboard readouts here. We can get dashboard readouts here. We can get some monitors, a little LCD screen situation coming up all up in here. Um, I'm happy with that dash. That looks cool. Um, let's maybe like, let's see if we can't like, <clears throat> no, the angle's cool too. I dig the angle. Hitting zero, holding down shift. And let's open these up. That's pretty sweet. I dig that. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Eleven hundred people chilling, working out on our renders. I dig it. I dig it very much. I'm gonna get to some community works in progress very soon. I'm gonna just show you some works in progress that um, different artists have done on the Discord server and show you what I like about them. Now, if you have your works in progress that you wanna send me, I'm gonna be shouting out different works in progresses every, um, every stream, essentially, right? So I'd love to just you know, keep showing off all the cool renders that you guys are working on every single stream. I'll do it in about the middle of the stream. We're, we're getting close. I'm gonna keep working for a little bit and then I'll get back to work. I'm gonna try and finish my block out and then we're gonna hop into the weekly uh, winners. It's the it's the very last weekly challenge. It was uh, when um, technology meets nature is the prompt. Um, so I'll reveal the five winners who completely unlock the discord server it's a full discord server i got the patreon link in the description um the the five dollar tier the lowest tier unlocks the full server for you guys um and of course the professional tier you have your own little section there on the discord um so yeah otherwise it's open right of course you can get in for free for this challenge and for the weekly challenges you don't need to pay anything to do that i, I just want to help y'all work as much as possible um so i wanted to keep those open all right let's get back to it editor in chief brother you're struggling to come up with an idea um heard dude heard i feel ya okay so here's how i came up with my idea i i mean honestly the way i came up with my idea is by taking breaks two weekends ago i i uh went with my buddy marcus and we went to go to the blue angels practice and if you don't know who the blue angels are they are like some of the air force's top pilots and they do some crazy stuff i'll pull, i'll show you a video here in a second i love jets i mean from the since I was like three, I wanted to be a jet fighter pilot. And um, I feel like this is cliche at this point, but no joke, I'm colorblind. So I, they said no, couldn't do that. Later found out that a buddy of mine, his uncle is an astronaut or was an astronaut, which means you had to fly fighter jets before you fly, you know, spaceships. So he's colorblind too. And he was, he, he just said no. They were like, you're colorblind, you can't do this. And he just said no. And I guess he just did it. I, I don't know how that works, but he did it. Um, so I love jets. I love speed. Um, I flew these stunt jets in in Vegas for a thing. And that was about the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. I hit six Gs. My vision came in like this tunnel vision. My eyeballs were open, but all I could see was a quarter just and then that quarter went away and it was darkness and my eyeballs were open, but I saw nothing. That was awesome. <laughs> Luckily I didn't pass out. Um, and then, yeah, anyway, you guys know, I love going fast. So jets, that's the thing. And then last week I went rock climbing with my buddy Jan and it just gave me time away from the computer to think about 
what I want to do. So I knew that I wanted to do something with speed. Hence this challenge, right? I love, love travel montages. Who doesn't? It's a good time. So everything just kind of came together in my, in my free time. Um, and of course, hopping in on the discord and talking with y'all about different ideas. We had a little, um, little town hall meeting where everyone came in and shared what they were trying to do. And we got a chance to brainstorm and come up with stuff together. So that helped out a lot. Um, we should do those once a week. That's very helpful. And actually we, we do have idea starters in the get started channel on discord as well. So take a look at those and see if that doesn't, you know, spur any ideas for you. Um, you got Pinterest, you know, check out Pinterest, go for a walk. Those will be my, my suggestions for now. Let me show you these jets though. Let me show you how cool this is. So on my Instagram, I posted that the second loudest thing I ever heard in my life was a Harrier jet landing right above my head. That was terrifying. Um, but let me show you the loudest thing I ever heard in my life. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Soto, do I have desktop audio? Or no. Okay. All right. Let me let me see if I can find this video for you guys. Okay. This video right here. Loudest thing I heard in my life. Look at this. We got four Blue Angels jets coming at me on the runway, full blast. All the smoke and gasoline in the background, right? Landing gear is up. This dude straight up drifts his jet and right over the head. God, that was so loud. I was so loud. I had my, uh, my shooting ear protection on that's supposed to make guns like not a thing. Dude, <laughs> it's like I wasn't even wearing them. Look at this guy. Look at this dude drift on the far left. Look at him drift. He's like, Arr! and he's like, chilling. Oh man, that was a cool day. That was a cool day. And then they're doing stuff like just crazy stuff like this. Absolutely amazing. God, love me some jets. Mm. I know I get amped. I'm, I'm amped for Top Gun too. I cannot wait for that movie. These guys are just chilling. Anyway, jets. I love jets. So that was just, that was me on a break. I was taking a break and like my creative, as I'm thinking about it behind the computer, that stuff kind of catches up with me when I'm taking a break. So make sure y'all are taking breaks. All right, back to it, back to it. I'm hitting S by the way, that'll snap the viewport, boom, to whatever I have selected. That one's a lifesaver, no doubt. Sweet. I'll probably have a little like trinket dangling from right here. <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna throw it in right now. I'm gonna just throw in a little test trinket. Um, where are you at? Let me go to my assets here.
Where are you at? Ah, oh, there you are. My little penguin. Here he is. Little bud. That's a lot of penguins. If you look closely, this little guy was in my parallel dimensions render. But you'll have to find him. I'm not telling you where he is. I'm going to use the transfer tool. So I have the little penguin selected. Shift C. And we're going to go transfer. Which, let's just dock that up in there. Because we're going to need it. All right, so with penguin selected, transfer tool, we'll define anything in here. Any, I just need to get it in my viewport. Boom, there we go. And we're chilling. R for rotate, hold shift to snap. One eighty, and let's get this bud up in there. Let me shrink him down a little bit. He'll be chilling, you know, like the old eight ball. Hanging from your rear view mirror. So we'll, fi we'll figure that out and maybe even throw in a rear view mirror. I don't know. Do spaceships have rear view mirrors? Probably. Mine will. I know that. Uh, hold control with an object selected to spawn whatever you want on that object. Sweet, we got a rear view, we got a penguin chilling. And we can probably drop that down. There we go. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Getting somewhere. Brendan. Yo, Brendan Huskin. Thank you for the super chat. We got thumbs ups all the way around. Thumbs ups to you, brother. Appreciate you. Hope you're working on your submission. If not, what's stopping you? Jump on in. VJ. Yo, VJ Verma. Huge shout outs to you, man. Thank you so much for the very, very kind super chat. That's awesome. Not even, not even a message, just a straight up little rocket blast. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Shout outs to you, man. Really appreciate it. Did I miss anybody else? I don't think so. I think we're good. We're chilling. <laughs> Carter D films. Yes. You found the penguin Found the penguin. I like it. I like it a lot. Subhadra, you're sleepy, you gotta go. Good night, thanks for hanging out with us. 10, not 10,000, not 10,000 people. We got 1,000 people chilling in the chat. That's a good group, very, very good group. Appreciate y'all for hopping in with me. Boom. Okay, we're looking we're looking pretty good here. Um, I like this dashboard setup. Now, what I want to work on is this bottom area, and I need to work on some sort of roof, like levers and stuff on the roof. So let me hide the roll cage for now. Um. That's our character. Cool, cool, cool. Let's hide this roll cage. The roll cage is gonna, we'll, we'll come back in and use that to support in a minute. Hmm. I mean, the easy, the easy way on this is to just extend these out 
I don't know if that's what I want to do. Uh, if I want to cheat it, you know, I could do both sides of this thing. Holding shift to select all these different pieces. T for scale. Back into camera. Yeah, that that's that's a lot. Now that could just be buttons and panels and stuff, but like I'm trying to imagine what else could be there. I know I think it could open up a little bit more. I think like that is fine. I know I want to grab these two bits and move those. See this whole bit right here. Yeah, let's move all this up. And this guy can open up just a touch. D for extrude. I'll extrude that down just a bit. Something like that. And I'll probably, let's solo it real quick. And I wanna even out. You see how this is uneven right here? It's slanting down, I wanna keep them even. So here, here's my trick for this. Basically, I'll just select these two edges and uh, scale this down to zero. And then they'll even out and they'll be perfectly in line. So that's, that's one I use all the time. That's looking cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna come in here and inset all this. Um, so let's, let's do that right now. MW or inset. Now we want the opposite of what we did on the windshield. So we'll preserve the groups. And I'm probably gonna do a thing where like, this is getting into detail at this point, but I'll go in a little bit. I'll go in some more, pull it back. Let's see, let's go, let's go in more. Pull it back like that. Yep. And then go in with it, inset, probably something like that. And then we'll put like different commands and screens and dials there. Um, swirly sticks. Thank you for the super chat. You say, um, any advice for anyone getting into 3d? Yes, absolutely. I talked about it just a little earlier, but I'll say it again. Cause it's important. Um, you're not going to get into 3d if you don't want to, if you want to get into 3d, you will. Um, so it seems like you have an interest. You're here. You're watching the channel. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, you're getting excited about 3d. Now you want to create some 3d. Uh, Blender is like, I mean, it's, it's free, right? And it's very powerful. So it's probably the most accessible way to jump in. Also, you got Unreal Engine. That's a little, a little complicated. I think start with Blender, watch channels like Blender Guru. Um, obviously I'm not going to say don't watch my channel. Come back for the streams. We're doing this every single week this month, but usually it's once a month. And then I have a pre-edited video, uh, during that month as well. So it's usually a two video month. This week is a four video, or sorry, this month is a four video month. And uh, find the things that like get you excited. Recreate the things that you wanna recreate. Build the things you wanna build. Um, on the Discord server, we have weekly challenges. Those will help you every single week with a new prompt um, and give you some, some recognition as well. I shout out the top five winners of that weekly challenge, which by the way, they win full access to the Discord server, even the Patreon Pro um, channels as well. So um, you can get full access to the server and, but also the weekly challenges, I shout out honorable mentions as well. People who are like, oh, that was a great idea or that looks really cool. You did a really cool thing there. Keep it up, right? So it's a good way to like keep your passion going and to also be challenged every single week to your skill level, right? And then do this challenge, please. If you hadn't already, download the starter files. Um, I have an, an announcement video that you can check out 
that was last week's upload. Um, and then I have a link in the description, uh, which leads you to the Discord and to the download files. And you'll see something like this, All right? And I'm building mine out right now to look like this. All right, so each and every one of us are doing a different little thing here and I love it. I love it. But yeah, just know it takes time, right? Swirly sticks, it takes time. Just keep that passion alive. Keep having fun with it. Have as much fun as possible. Uh, and then we got Ein Fauchner Music. Yo, thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thank you for motivating me to keep pushing the boundaries. I've learned so much on the last challenge. Let's rock this one. Yes. Yes, let's rock it. I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited. I can't wait to see everyone's renders. It's going to be nuts. Goodness, it's going to be awesome. Mr. T, how am I going to stitch all these together? Well, in DaVinci Resolve, of course, and put them next to each other, one after the next, one after the next, one after the next, and organize them all into different vehicle categories, and add some really cool music, and add everybody's names alongside it, and then upload it to YouTube, and that'll be one, and then we'll do the top 100, I'll go through all of these submissions and choose the top 100 artists and do the top 100 montage custom music for it usually um i'm trying to get a custom artist right now um to do custom music on it so it's gonna be sweet it's gonna be sweet okay maybe we should check out the community renders right now the community works in progress and see how y'all are doing all right let's see so first up let's go okay let's go with edge so edge is doing this one here it's a similar idea you know you got the speed thing that you got going there um it looks like you're doing a drift actually which i like nice little drift action um and you're just piecing this is your this is your block out which i really dig you i can't believe you got the animation already that's craziness um but you see what edge is doing he took the window he changed the shape of it, but he kept the visual weight of that window center framed and large, just like the template. He turned it to a car. He's focusing on one character. He's showing the sense of speed with the poles in the background. Everything in the background really gives off that sense of speed. Um, what else? So you say, oh, is, is he touching the camera? Is he moving it? Well, you can do a little bit of camera shake. I think a little camera shake is totally fine. Um, now, if you go overboard with it, it, you know, it might just be too much. You wouldn't want excessive camera shake, like, I don't know, it has to be tasteful. Just make it, have it, have it be tasteful. I think this, what Edge is doing here is tasteful. It's well done. It's not distracting me from the scene. You're showing the sense of movement. You're keeping that character. You're moving it to the right. Can't wait to see what you do next with this. Uh, Jack the Hack. Let's see what Jack, hold on, Edge, we, 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 we did this, we did this. Jack, what you got going? Oh, is this a playlist? Hold on. Let's try this again. Cool. All right, so, Jack is doing a cool thing here. We got a little, um prison break western style prison break i dig it you got your window centered up looking real nice um kept it pretty darn close to the template window size if not exact um you decided to go for three characters in your scene very ambitious i dig it I love your lighting. I love your idea. I love your concept. I can't wait to see what else you got going on outside. And I love the story too. Look, they're about to be hung, these dudes. I don't know what they did, but they're about to be hung. And 
they're not trying to get hung today so they're like i'm a piece um so I, I dig your story i dig your story i can't wait to see what else you do with this scene and how you spice it up i'm very excited oh you got the guys on the right too these cowboys on the right i assume they're cowboys that's pretty cool i love that Jack, keep it up. I'm loving your work in progress, man. It's looking really, really good. Let's see. Um, we got Corza Vision with this one here. Now this one, it looks like you kept the, the window size pretty darn spot on. I like the little extra detail you added up towards the top. I think that's super solid. Um, and it looks like you raised the floor up a little bit to like catch the floor. You got your floor geometry there. You have a little bit of camera shake. It's very subtle. It's very, very subtle. I would say keep in mind that the character who's filming this, are they hand, is it handheld or is it on a tripod? I think that will determine your style of camera shake. Right now this is looking like the camera isn't moving, but the vehicle is moving. That's what it looks like to me. But it's a work in progress. Um, the story, I'm not quite sure what the story is. It looks like a traveler. I could see like a backpack at the bottom. Uh, maybe a map is falling off here. Looks like. Um, and you got some cool stuff in the background. You got a little block out background going on. You got some lighting figured out. And I can't wait to see, you know, what else you do with this. Oh, you even have a nice reflection of the opposite side of this train in the window too. I dig that. Heck yeah. Corza Vision. Good stuff. Keep it up. Keep it up. We're going to do this every week. We're going to do works in progress for, for people every week. Um, Connor, one of the mods. I think he's in Maya. Good stuff. Good stuff. Got a little transit scene here. Bowling ball head character. <laughs> Smoking through. I hope you have smoke coming through that bowling ball hole. <laughs> I hope. And I would love to see him like take a whiff, you know, not a whiff, but take a drag and then see some smoke coming out of all three. I don't know how that's going to work, but like, I dig what you got going on. It's moving to the right. You're capturing the sense of movement. You got a character. You have a little bit of camera shake. It's not excessive. And it's jostling the briefcase on the right. It's jostling the things in the vehicle. That's what I love. That's what I want to do for mine as well. Connor, good stuff. And then we got one more work in progress to show off. Um, adjunction. Quite the work in progress, my dude. Um, this has come quite a way in a week's time. I dig it. So what you're doing is it seems that you're moving the, the wall back. And we still have the big center frame window it kind of trails off to the left and the right. You're adding a bunch of characters and you're filling the space. You're 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 essentially like you're growing the space in which the characters um, are are living in. So your foreground is filled with five characters in this case. Your center frame window, that's the most important thing. You have your center frame window. It's moving to the right. You're capturing a sense of movement. Um, it'd be nice to maybe see some like asteroids fly by or something or just something to really tell how fast this ship is moving um but there is already a lot going on you know you got the dance off going it looks great i'll dig your render quality and everything this is super solid and really funny so i can't wait to see what else you do with this that's gonna be sweet all right so I'm going to keep doing this once a week. I'm going to give a little community shout out, check in on y'all, see how you're doing with your works in progress. So please just DM me on, uh, on discord. If you have a work in progress, you want me to show off. Um, I'm happy to go through and, and do that. Just don't be excessive with it. Cause I'm going to have like a thousand DMS. <laughs> so spare me, please <laughs> maybe post them in the chat and just add me or something in the, uh, in the infinite journeys chat that might be a better way to do it okay let's see let's see if i can't take this block out to the next level so 
So we have our chair here. Got the head brace. Make sure this dude's not gonna snap his back. Snap his neck when this thing takes off. Okay, we need some sort of like... system up top here that he can tap into. So let me let me model that real quick. Um, starting with a default cube. I'm just selecting anything that's center framed with the pilot. I'm gonna hold control and click on that cube. I'll spawn a cube. We'll move this up. Make some sort of center console. Something like this. I'm hitting C to make it editable so I can come in here and start chopping it up. KL for loop cut. Go to edge mode. Make a slice. And let's go ahead and grab in what is this mode called? Face mode? Polygon mode. Boom. Let's grab these two. D for extrude. Bring those out just a little bit. And I'll probably do something like let's taper these guys one and two. Boom, tapered. Also want to taper these guys too. So holding shift, you can say I can snap between all these. I'll go the first one and the first one. And same here, we'll just do that top one there. And let's go ahead and grab. I'm just literally making this up as I go. Get me up in this thing. Ah, there we go. Boom. Something like that. You know, I didn't even need that other one. So let's select it, UL, and then, um, how do I dissolve? What's dissolve? Where are you, Dissolve? M N. M N. That's Dissolve. Okay. Something like this can be some sort of like console that I want to have a. Let's see. With that piece selected, let's make like a lever. So, ooh, holding control, let's make a cylinder. T for scale, bring it down. And let's go plus X. Something like this. Open it up. Boom. And without getting too detailed, we don't need to get too detailed right now. Let's hold control again. We'll make a cube. Hit T for scale. Bring it up here. Let's flatten it. Something like that is gonna work for what we're doing right now. And I'll just control drag it over to duplicate. That's really all we need to do for this lever, just to see if this thing like works and to get it in place. Alt G is gonna group it. And then L will toggle your, um, what is it? Your gizmo, right? So then I can actually rotate this from this point like this, which is what we want. I'll probably move it up just a touch. All right, so we obviously need to lower it. We want our lever plus this cube control or uh, alt G. Our top 
console and we'll just lower it until we can actually see see it in our render something like something like this probably now that is centered up with him maybe it should be to the right just a touch so i can bring it to the right and lower it a little bit more That looks pretty cool. I'm down. Now we need to connect this to the roof somehow. So I think it's as simple as just, let's see. Extruding. Now, if you were this dude, is pro this like is probably gonna be in your way <laughs> if you're straight up this dude's eyeball right now. I don't know, like that's pretty cool, you know. Maybe it should be a little bit higher, but who cares? Because this is the angle we're doing it from. Maybe we can scoot it forward a touch. Something like that. I dig it. Think we'll need maybe another lever. I mean, we need levers all over the place, let's be honest. Something like this, maybe? <laughs> Build a trapeze bar in here, what? <laughs> oh, that's funny. So we're gonna have a bunch of different buttons and monitors built in to these pant to this different paneling here. I think just this on the right. This is the only thing here. Maybe there's a second person in this vehicle. And this just comes straight down or something. And it's like the central center console. Hmm. Yo, Rohan, dropping some good knowledge, says your only competitor must be you. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. I couldn't agree more. So just some advice to people who might be seeing some renders and like thinking to themselves, oh, there's no way I'm going to win this thing. It's there's the chances are so low. There's only five people out of the maybe 4,000 people who are going to submit or 3,000. I don't know how many we have 3,800 people working right now, but look, honestly, yes, such a tiny, 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 tiny fraction of the people who submit are going to win top five. Um, a larger chunk will get into, into the top 100 montage, but you know what? All of you are going to get into the all renders montage if you can render your file out properly and it doesn't crash my DaVinci program you're gonna get in if I have to start re-encoding all y'all's renders then there's a line I gotta draw at some point but the point is 
The point is to have fun, honestly. The point is to have fun during this challenge, and the point is to learn as much as possible. If you're comparing yourself with all these other people, then you're you're just setting yourself back. So please just try and focus on what you can do. Challenge like we're all at different points on our journey, and to compare yourself with someone who's 10 years ahead makes zero sense. You gotta compare yourself with yourself. And if you can get ahead of yourself, um, and overcome that personal self challenge, then that's literally the best thing that can possibly happen to you. <laughs> like, I don't know what else is better than that. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this through life, even. Um, constantly, I'd, I'd compare myself with other people. I'm 30 at this point. I'm 30 at this point. And of course, I, I've learned along a lot of things along the way through my 20s into my 30s. Um, and Keeping myself like I, I am I'm a go-getter for sure. I love challenging myself, hence why we're doing these challenges. Um, I love working out, I love doing yoga, I love pushing myself, I love traveling as far as I can go. But I have to realize at a certain point, like I can't be discouraged if I don't meet my expectations. I need to set realistic expectations. And then you can achieve those. And that feels great. If you're setting unrealistic expectations, impossible for you to achieve then of course you're gonna get bummed up about that if you're always setting those ridiculous expectations so just keep it doable keep it doable push it just a touch that's what i'm doing during this month like i know i can do this i just gotta i gotta crank and like i'm gonna learn some things along the way i'm gonna learn some character stuff no doubt i'm gonna learn some character stuff um and i'm also gonna learn some animation too so we're all learning I don't know all the answers, right? If you say you do, I'd love to chat with you. <laughs> Joshua, I got you, man. Absolutely. Thanks for the comment. Much appreciated. I really appreciate everybody hanging out with me. You guys are awesome. Let's keep this block out going. I'm digging where we're at right now. So if I just take this, I don't know, if I take this piece here, one, two, three, control drag is going to bring this down. Then we kind of have built out like a center console situation, assuming that there's a person sitting here in the foreground too. So if I took uh, our boy here, let's do character I need to duplicate this guy and moved him over right just imagining for a moment that there's another person in this vehicle sitting right here. Then this center console could make sense. I might cheat it and just be like, forget the second character. I don't need the second character. I want to focus on the main character, but have this feel kind of like a central console thing. I'm gonna have to figure out what I fill this with. It could just be like readouts. Here's a good reference. Um, tank in the matrix. That's one for sure. It's the guy sitting in the chair with all the monitors and stuff. He's got monitors up here. He's got monitors all around, right? So maybe there's a there's like some kind of PC monitor thing down here that's that's like mounted to some sort of the roll cage. Mounted to the roll cage. I like that. I like things mounted to the roll cage. It could be sweet. And there's a bunch of wires coming out the back and stuff like that could be sweet. So let's see if we can get that going. So 
So like this, I'll just make a cube, T for scale. Let's make a little monitor. Yo, Sanctiven, what's up? Thank you for the super chat. Super cool, dude. You said you taught me so much. Thanks to you, I am able to do daily renders now. Thank you for everything, my dude. Yo, thank you. I appreciate you being here, for watching the stream, for the super chat, for just being kind and courteous in the chat. I really appreciate that. Um, that you are passionate about what you're doing and you're spreading that passion with other people. That's what's up. So thanks, man. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm excited to see what you do for this challenge. All right, so it's maybe, maybe it's something like this. I don't know, like, I'm just making this up as I go, you know? You know how we do it. There we go, make it editable. MW extrude, inner D for extrude, and scale, hit T. We're gonna scale it uh, locally, so hitting W to switch between local and world orientation. Let's get that down like that. That's like a little monitor situation. I'll probably use these a lot, so I'm gonna just develop this a little bit more. Let's come in and like that, something like that. And we can probably do like a th like three, four monitors as in aspect ratio. So what I can do is just hold control. Let's spawn a plane here, hit T for scale, scale it down. And let's use this plane as our aspect ratio guide. So let's do um, 400 width, 300 height, and then scale that down. And that is what we want to match right there. So I imagine this being built from like old technology. So that's why I'm trying to do like an older aspect ratio. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. Sweet. Sweetness. See-through glass display could be cool, absolutely. I'm trying to keep this a little bit more in the vein of, uh, you know, like this, like Mad Max. So see-through glass display could maybe work for like, some interstellar, maybe some Star Wars, um, some sunshine. I'm kind of, like, this is kind of my vibe right now for for my console, it's very blocky, right? Very, very blocky. You got monitors up top here, with different little commands and whatnot. So, kind of looking at this mixed with, hey now, with this. So like these two vibes. It's like someone took an old an old like land speeder kind of situation and then they threw on some they retrofitted it with some like retrofitted what is what does that technically mean retrofitted like jerry rigged is to jerry rig and retrofit is that the same thing I don't know anyway let's get back to it So the back of the monitor could have like, if I, if I keep building this out, it's a block out. We don't want to go too detailed. I just want to, it's a sketch. It's the 3d sketch is what we're doing. Holding control to get the cylinders there. And we'll get your like component jack going. Some 
something like that. And then you have like your, your power over here. Going in there. I don't know. All right, so we'll grab those guys and Alt G to group them and we'll just call this monitor. Hop into camera view and like see what it looks like. It's, it's in your face. No doubt it is in your face. Not sure if I want that to be the situation. Maybe it's like a smaller thing. I'll figure out how this works. Because I, I don't want to block this readout i but i do want something down here i i don't know what yet and i don't know if i need to figure that out now it may come to me as i'm creating but having some monitors strapped down to the actual like rig itself could be cool Yo, Spencer, what's up, dude? Appreciate the hangout. Think you deserve a raise. <laughs> glad to learn uh, with this challenge. That's what's up, dude. I'm glad you learned with this challenge as well. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the support. Appreciate you. Good times, man. Are you hanging out or are you, uh, are you bouncing? How are you feeling? How's everyone feeling? If you guys are feeling good, give me a thumbs up. Troy, I see you too. Um... You say there's a great video from Ira Glass called The Gap. Yes, okay. That people starting out should watch. Very encouraging. Also add some greebles. I'll get to them greebles. Don't you worry, Troy. I'm going to tear up them greebles. I appreciate the super chat. So, yeah, The Gap. Um, okay, so look up the video. Ira Glass. That's I-R-A and Glass. G-L-A-S-S. -S. The Gap, as far as I uh, remember... The idea is that we all have an idea of what we want to create in our heads. We have the references in front of us. Obviously, you saw me looking through all these references just now. Um, we, we see all the greatest movies. We've watched them, right? Um, we've played the most incredible games. We've, you know, we've played them. So our, our library of references in our head of what we want our creations to look and feel like, it's maxed out, which is great, okay? you want the best references possible but your ability to get there your ability to output that quality is not there yet it's definitely not there yet because you just started and as years go by that gap will get smaller and smaller and smaller right so you're achieving this is your bar that you've set and this is where you're at and there's this big gap in between and as you get better the gap closes and you know what? As you get better, you might find better references and the gap opens up. But you want to keep working towards closing that gap. And that takes a lot of time. That takes a lot of time. I think they quoted in the in the thing like two to three years. Maybe it takes... It could be decades, honestly. There's a great book I love. It's called Mastery. Keep in mind, there's two books called Mastery. It's the shorter one. Um, and it's about the idea of like getting into a hobby. Let's say you get into some golf. You're like, I love golf. You hop into golf, you buy the clubs, you get the country club membership. Um, you get the gloves, you get the freaking all of the, all of the, 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 the golf clubs. Um, you get golf balls, you get it all right. You buy a golf cart. I don't know why you would, but you do it and you play golf for like two months and you're climbing right? This is a graph of your progress in golf. You're maxing out. Two months in, you're like, dang, so much progress. And then you start to flatline because like you reach your limit. And now you, now that's where the real training starts is where, okay, this is what I'm not good at. It's what I got to get better at. And most people, once they get to that point, they just boom, drop off. It's just a cliff face and they're done. Their gloves sit in the freaking garage. They collect cobwebs. The golf car, I don't know what you're doing with your golf car, uh, but that's chilling. You're not touching it anymore. 
and you'll never get good at golf ever again. Now, here's the thing. We're so addicted to like getting what we want immediately that investing time to get good at something is about one of the hardest things to do right now, especially in the age we live in with, you know, of course with Amazon, with social media, you know, you get it all at your fingertips, you know, but you don't get everything at your fingertips. It takes years to master something. So going back to that graph of progress, right? You might start in 3D and you might do some really cool stuff like this in 3D, but then you realize you hit a gap and I feel like 3D is a little different. I think 3D starts like this. It's almost inverted and then it kind of levels out again. But like you'll get to the point where you start plateauing and you're not getting better and you're realizing like, man, why am I not getting better? But if you keep at it and you have a, a solid plan, like you're doing weekly challenges, you're doing these community challenges. When we do the year long challenge, you're going to be doing those too. And you're doing what inspires you and what you have fun doing. That's what you're going to focus on. And that bar of progress, it might go up like this every year. It might go, whoosh, it might just tick up a little bit. And it's going to plateau for another year. It might plateau for another whole year. But at the end of that year, maybe there's just another little, boop, maybe there's a little tick on that graph of progress. And hopefully that's what these challenges are for y'all. I'm trying to get that progress bar, boop up a little bit um that's what it's like to be a master you do that for 20 years pfft, you are gonna be killing it killing it i promise you that so i know that for me that's filmmaking i want to get better at filmmaking for the rest of my life 3d it, it's not always going to be my main focus i know that it will it's my main it's like half of my focus right now of course i have this youtube channel teaching y'all how to do vfx and whatnot in 3d um, I love it. I love teaching y'all how to do stuff. I love setting up these challenges and these communities like this. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to learn and grow as much as possible. But filmmaking and creating these, this 3d work and doing this stuff is just a means of like adding a really powerful tool to my tool belt that I know I'm going to need when I'm telling a story and it all comes back to story, right? So the gap right as you get better and better and better and when you stick with it don't drop off stick with it the gap will close Mr. One Dead Duck, good to see you. Thanks for the super chat. So you say suggestion for the bottom right hand corner. Um, sent as a direct message. Safety caged levers or controls. They can fill the space but not block the view. Let's check this DM. Oh wow. That's a cool reference. I'm going to take that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Super cool. I'll show you guys this in a second. Let me just put it in the right place. Got my reference folder. Boom. Open up pure ref real quick. That's cool, man. I dig that. So you're saying like these cages here, buttons that you are not trying to press, but you will press at some point. What is all this stuff? What is all this stuff on the roof? That's so cool. Oh man, this is awesome. 
See, I love it. It feels janky. It feels old. Some Indiana Jones style. Like, this is definitely how I want it to feel. Like, who knows what this stuff is? But it looks cool. You have different wires and cables and straps. Like, that's the, the micro detail that we're going to get to in our renders, but not in the block out. Not in the block out. We're trying to just, like, create the panels where this stuff can exist, right? Thank you, Mr. One Dead Duck. Good stuff. Good reference. Probably work on let's get this roll cage going I, I I can figure out what to do down here later roll cage maybe we'll get the roll cage and then maybe assess and then hop into the weekly weekly winners perhaps All right, let's do this roll cage proper. So it needs to be custom. Let's do it with splines. Yeah, let's do it with splines. Okay, so I'm gonna hop out of camera view. Let's go ahead and make some splines here. So let's spawn them. I'm holding control. Let's make a rectangle spline. We'll shrink it up. And let's just get this set up. Um, holding control, I'm going to make a circle spline. T for scale, I'll scale that down. And then rectangle and circle. Let's put those guys in a sweep. So holding Alt, it's been a minute. Maybe it's shift alt. It's probably shift alt. It's probably control alt. Who knows? I should. <laughs> um, put them in a sweep. Shift alt. What is, I'm trying to put them both in the thing. Control alt. Control alt. Okay, that's what it is to put both or all selected items in a sweep. Scale down that sphere. And now we just adjust our rectangle. All right, so we need some roll cage reference. So it's basically going along the door. You have this side of the car as a frame. You have that side of the car. And they're connected. Okay, I got you, I got you. All right, so it looks to be like like a rectangle spline here. Maybe this guy, bam, rectangle spline, we'll stand it up.
Thank you all for hanging out with me. We got 900 people in the chat. Those are some absolutely solid numbers. Really good to see. Much appreciated, y'all. All right, let's make that editable. That rectangle is now editable. So let's duplicate our sweep because we're going to need that. Awesome. And this will go up. Um, let's see how far we want that to go up. I don't know, it could be any one of these. We can adjust that later. I'm just gonna hide the floor for a second. There we go, much better. All right, so we need to add some points here. Let's go ahead and hide this console just so we can work on this. And add a point, boom. Easy does it. We'll add another point. Let's see what we can do with this. Basically, it's going to start curving down here at this point. And this will go all the way to the edge here. Yeah, something like that. And of course, we'll chamfer these. Where are you at, chamfer? I know I see you in my peripheral vision. There you are. Just a little bit of rounding there. Same here. Chamfer this edge. Cool, and that's what we'll duplicate onto the other side. Control drag to duplicate. And then we connect these in a couple places. So we could do a connection point there. I know behind the seats, there's usually like a cross hatch section let's 
Let's make that cylinder. We'll go plus X. Our radius on the circle is 3.416. We'll copy that onto this cylinder. Boom. And we'll just use this as our like connecting bar across this whole thing. Sweet, so we got one behind the wheel. Drop that second one. Let's see what we can see. All right, so we'll get a cross hatch maybe in the back. So this one we're not even seeing. So I can just bring this up and then do a little X here. Control drag to duplicate. Switch between local and world orientation. And holding control to duplicate that. There we go. Something like that. And I know it's technically not centered. So maybe we see what it looks like if it is. I think it looks a little bit better. Sweet. Digging it. Let's maybe see if we can do something here. Now, I just don't want to have a bar right here at the bottom. But maybe it's something I could do. Eh. Feels a little thick to me. Maybe just just a touch. Um. So it's maybe like two point eight. Yeah, that might feel a little bit better. Maybe that's here, maybe not. Like, I'm not, I don't love it. But probably on the other side. Like right in there or something. And potentially. Across the dash. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's pretty cool. Like I'm down. This is this feels like a much cleaner block out than what I had at the beginning of the stream. I have places for pan. Oh, I forgot my. Um. Where are you? My top console. Boom. Yes. That feels good. That feels really good to me. I'm excited about that. I might split this window up into little chunks. I don't know yet. And I might make it like a thicker window. Um, 
but we'll we'll see that that's more in the detail of everything now if you all are just joining this challenge and you don't have anything yet it's all good you guys have until i believe february i don't want to get this wrong let me double check this uh on the calendar you have until february 27th at 11 59 p.m pst um so as soon as it hits monday morning here in california it's too late it's too late but right now i'm gonna count them you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three if i counted correctly 22 to 23 days to do this all right so i can't wait to see what y'all do it's gonna be incredible um yeah i don't know i'm, I'm feeling good about my my block out right now i'm excited for for y'all i'm excited to see what y'all do now i'm gonna do the weekly winners here for technology meets nature pretty soon first let me shout out green apple good stuff you're learning blender and you hope you'll be able to participate in this challenge you're doing great clint no dude you're doing great because you're doing it right now um i think you can do it no i know you can do it you say you're learning blender and hope you'll be able to participate well, by being on this stream and getting your freaking brain juices flowing, you are participating. I hope to see a render from you. Um, for those of you who want to feature or want your render featured, or rather your work in progress featured next week when I live stream, um, post it in the Infinite Journeys chat. Just at me. Uh, I'll take a look at your work in progress and start saving the ones that I like and featuring them on next week's live stream. But we ain't done yet. We are not done yet. Because we're going to hop into the weekly winners. I'm going to go over those. Um, might take a five minute break. And maybe I'll hop back into my render. We'll see. We'll see how it feels. But um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's talk about these weekly winners. Because we got weekly challenges every single week. Except for this month. Because obviously we're doing the full on, uh, you know, the full on monthly challenge. You can tell, you know, I start to get stuttery and I start to like what I'm saying starts to be long and drawn out and I start saying the same thing multiple times. That's when I know it's like, okay, I'm getting a little fatigued here. But let's do it. Let's switch on over. Bam. We got some challenge winners to talk about. Nature meets technology. Technology meets nature. All right. We got five winners. First, up in no particular order we got mr edge with this amazing render modeled the helmet yourself goodness i love the design of this thing it's like a mix between iron man and a stormtrooper your surface imperfections are ridiculous your lighting is very simple yet super effective and you got the old spear right through the robo head gotta hurt uh or does it he's a robot He's a, it's a she robot, a he robot, it's an it robot, I don't know. Um, you know, I dig the black and white vibes here. I'm wondering, may I comment on your perfect render? Uh, I'm wondering if to give it more of that nature vibe, if you set it against like a wall of leaves or something, if that would even be necessary. And it's still a black and white render, you know what I mean? Anyway, just random ideas. Edge, congratulations. You got the challenge winner roll this week. You're crushing it. Can't wait to see what you do with that race car scene for Infinite Journeys. Keep it up, brother. Very good stuff. Moving on to number two. We got Elliot with this one. I dig it so much. I love your color. The color is super solid. Your render quality is 100%. I'm digging this. Um, what else here? Really cool idea. I've always wanted to bring a TV, a CRT TV out while I go camping and play Smash Bros. Um, zero lag, it's the way to go. But dude, I think you killed it with this uh, with this environment here. Your trees look great. 
Your foliage looks great. Your scene looks great. I want to be in this spot right now. I think that'd be amazing. So congratulations to you, Elliot, for winning the challenge this week. You brought technology and nature together. You did it. You got the challenge winner roll. You're going to have full access to the entire Discord server all the way through the weekly challenge. I'm sorry, all the way through Infinite Journeys because we're not doing weekly challenges this month. It's Infinite Journeys time. Moving on. We got the one and only Boom Justin 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 with this Gundam render. I love it. Very reminiscent of the uh, the classic Castle in the Sky by Studio Ghibli. Um, holding a bird's nest. That's a nice little little addition there. I love your colors. I love your lighting. I would frame this on my wall. This is absolutely beautiful. Justin, congrats. You got the challenge winner roll this week. You're crushing it. Holding on to it for the entire month. Got the whole server unlocked to you. Congratulations, brother. Keep it up. I hope to see your Infinite Journeys submission as well. Noah. Yes, Noah. I love this, man. You know, I was going back and forth between this one and another one. You'll see him in the honorable mentions here. But I just love the idea of a little old robot reading just a little old classic. Uh, it's incredible. I dig it. I love your character. I love the spirit behind this render. Super widescreen, like ridiculous widescreen on this one. <laughs> I don't even know what format that is, but it's crazy. Uh, I dig your dig your background. I dig your trees. Looking good. Um, I don't know if those are photo scans or what, but super solid. I think the only thing you can work on is the service imperfections on your guy. They're a little intense and they're a little too uniform. Maybe you can use some noise to break it up a little bit. But your your idea and the way you executed it got you in to the challenge winners this week slash this month. So congratulations to you, Noah. Matos, Matos. Very good stuff. And finally, we have the man, the myth, the legend, visual himself with this terrifying render. Could you imagine being that woman? Heck no. The render quality is ridiculous. The lighting is ridiculous. The lighting tells the story. It shines light on your subject, but just in the shadows, you see the woman getting pulled away from her newborn baby. Or That's probably not a newborn. That's probably a two or three months, who knows, but God, this is terrifying, super dark, um, visual, this is amazing stuff. You got the challenge winner roll this week, but since you're a mod, you gave it away to someone in the honorable mentions, which I'm getting into right now, starting with our boy, Ronan, who is also a moderator, so no, you're not getting the challenge, the challenge winner roll, because <laughs> you'd be passing it off as well. I love this, so cool. Dude, like to come across this would be terrifying. I love the scene you set up. I love your use of depth of field. It really shows like how large this thing is. Dude, this is this thing's massive. It might as well be an elephant. And you have a hunter and his kid holding them back from this thing. You got the arm out. I love this. It's so good. So freaking good. Congrats, Ronan. Honorable mention. Just wanted to shout you out. Next up, we got Peter. Peter M. This is a super solid little render. This one made me smile. He's like, okay. This little guy right here? Not feeling it. Not feeling it. This is the spot I'm a chillin'. It reminds me of my cat. <laughs> That's great. Peter M, good stuff. Very good stuff. Next up, we have JC KB. I love it here. I love it. Childhood vibes. Very uh, colorful, vibrant, and fun. Except for the fact the robot in the back is trying to freaking slingshot a bird. That's not chill. But I love your render. Your quality's great. I dig your uh, composition. Overall, I dig your story. That's why I chose this. I just needed to shout it out. I like the vibes here. Good stuff. Next up, we have Yaw CG Mod who has been lurking in the discord for a very long time and you finally have unearthed yourself 
to bust out this render right here. I love it. I love the design of your robot. Of course, your lighting, your composition, it's, it's spot on. It's good to have you back, y'all CG mod. I hope things are going all right with you. And I hope that you have time and are able to take a break and make a little bit of a infinite journey submission. I can't wait to see what you do. I believe you were in the top 100 uh, last time. I can't remember, but you put out great stuff. I look forward to seeing more of it. Next up, we got Jones Lab. Honorable mention for Jones Lab, bringing technology and nature together in one single render. This is cool. This is very, very cool. You got some creepy dark robed dudes. Either, I, I don't know if the dude in here is like, is it unbeknownst to him that he's being watched by some creepy robe dudes or is he like did he take off the robe and was like time to step up and went into this test chamber i don't know if they would have cool jackets hanging out in creepy robe town so i'm assuming it's someone who doesn't know what's going on which is really creepy had to shout it out good stuff next up we got i am creative the reason I chose this is because the idea. I love this idea. You're using technology to access nature. That is super cool. I dig it. I really, really dig it. And like with that comes a whole bunch of different opinions on is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Who knows? It leaves it open ended. It's not saying one thing or another. It's just showing that you can do this and it and it brings out like many different reactions and people like oh that's cool or like oh why don't you just go out in nature or also like ah oh, man that's the only way i can experience nature it's very peaceful so i love that um i am creative keep it up good idea uh three more we got carter next just wanted to shout you out how could you not love this this came very close to winning i love the idea i love the way you you shot this i love the way you built this and lit this absolutely incredible i also love the fact that you have like a really dark kind of over the shoulder blurry uh, foreground object on the left i don't know what it is it might be the robot's face but it looks cool if it was if it wasn't there it would be okay but the fact that it's there i i love it i think this is incredible so congrats to you carter um, and we got Jack the Hack next. Just want to give you a shout out, man. This one came darn close to winning as well, I must say, because your render quality is spot on. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on. That's the one thing I'm trying to figure out. I was like, you have some sort of reading and you're reading like a, a big mushroom. You're reading the electricity in a big mushroom, I guess. Um, I dig your colors. I like the blue. I like the different emissions you use for the lightning and stuff on, I don't know, are those splines or like hair? It's really cool. I dig it a lot. You put a lot of work into the scene and I can tell. You came very, very, very close this week. Um, so, Jack, I just want to give you a shout out, man. It's looking really cool. And finally, we got Folio with this beautiful render. Again, you came darn close to winning. You came so close to winning that Visual decided to pass on his uh, challenge winner role to you for this week's uh, challenge slash month, because again, we're just doing Infinite Journeys this month. So Folio, congrats, man. You got that one from Visual. I dig this a lot. It came very close in my mind as well. Um, you got nature benefiting from technology, I guess, in this way, right? You got the fox taking cover under a little wing, find a nice little nest for itself. Staying away from the heat. Um, but yeah, brutal. It's a brutal, brutal combination there. <laughs> Freaking crazy. But yeah, guys, congratulations to the weekly winners. Technology meets nature. Very good stuff. You guys got full access to the Discord server uh, for the remainder of February or until we do another weekly challenge, which will probably be in March, to be honest with y'all. Um, so keep it up. Keep it up, no doubt. We have a couple comments to say hello to. We got Nexib. Yo, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. It's pains to see another awesome challenge pop up and I have arm and joint issues. I will still try, but maybe model less and acquire some models. 
Ah, dang. Okay, arm and joint issues, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Definitely sorry to hear that, dude. Um, hopefully you're you're seeing a physical therapist and and getting some workouts that you can do to to get that working out. Now I don't know if you use a mouse all the time. I will say I, I don't know where these arm and joint issues are coming from. Um, for me personally, I I like to stay away from a mouse, a traditional mouse. So you'll see me on this pen tablet all the time, and I use this to keep. Basically, when you're when you're using a mouse, right? You have your two forearm bones that are running parallel, but when you do a mouse like this, they're twisting like this, and that's no good. So that's when you use the pen, and you basically take your bones from here and you open them up back to a natural natural state, right? So that's why I love using the Wacom tablet. But man, um shoot i hope you feel better take care of yourself and um yeah dude download some models quick soul they got everything they literally have like everything they just got trees now that's amazing so i hope to see you do something cool just maybe maybe a little something small just don't hurt yourself <laughs> certainly don't hurt yourself i appreciate the super chat though thank you thank you thank you very much that's awesome all right that's the super chats Y'all are killing it. Thank you guys so much for, for joining me. Still, we got still got 755 people up in this chat. Um, I'm going to take a very small break. I'm going to take a minute break. Um, and then I'll come back. I might work on my block out for another five minutes or so. And I'll chill with you guys. So BRB, keep working on your stuff. I'll see you in a second. Yo, what's up, y'all? Ah. All right. I'm going to go for probably another five minutes or so. Ten minutes. Work on my block out just a little bit more. Oh. Um, are you guys digging the music? We got some music this time. First time we ever had music during the stream. You guys like it or do you prefer to have your own, just play your own music? 
See you, Ibby. Later. What's up? Present. Digital ape chilling. What's going on? You just finished your block out. Barack, you finished your block out. If you send it to me on Discord, I will show it. If you can send it in the next two minutes. 4K Productions, shout outs, man. Thank you for the super chat. Good stuff, good stuff. Visual likes the music. Heck yeah, y'all like the music. Is mad relaxing. It's so relaxing, it just, just makes me want to break something. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so you can still listen to your own soundtrack and join the stream. And like, it, oh, it's, it's the music's low enough that you can put on your own. I like that. Heck yeah. Hades, man. That game is incredible. No, I did not model the pilot. That is a Mixamo download. Dejan. Dejan. Maybe I'm saying that right. Um, you hadn't started yours yet. Don't worry, dude. All good. You still have 23 days. <laughs> Present. I appreciate the kind words. Thanks, man. VFX works. Finish your block out. That's what's up. Send it to me on Discord. I might show it in the next two minutes. Heck yeah. Just finish your concept paint. Nate. That's cool stuff. You send it to me on the Discord. I might show it off. Votremir is ready for the next challenge. This is the challenge. You ready for the next one? That's crazy. Anish, you're asking for me to not choose the winners before I stream. I got to choose the winners before I stream. I got to make sure that those winners are eligible to claim those prizes before I stream. So I got to make sure that those winners are chosen before the stream. But no doubt, I'll still reveal the top 100 and the five winners in uh, first week of March. First week of March. With the live stream. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. We got some block outs here. This one's from... Let me see. From Ur Manazaro. Working on your scene. Little robo situation. Giant tentacle in the background. Whoa. I love it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep working on it. I dig it. Dig it very much. This is Devon's block out. All right. So this is the back of a boat. This is a boat, I would assume. You're in the water. Nice. Nice, nice. So, Devon, a couple things I would say is like, what other pieces of detail are you going to see along this little boat? Is there another boat out here that broke off and is trying to get into this cove? Because there's some treasure up in this thing, you know? Some things to think about. Also, you want to keep that window frame, right? So how are you going to block the sides to keep that window center framed? Right? Are you going to have anything to guide the, the eye to the middle of your render? Keep that in mind as well. Oh, sick. All right, we got from Malfunction Induced Nate. That is this dude's name on Discord. Check this out, though. Super cool. Some sort of factory, robo factory situation. I like it a lot. Really cool um, concept block out here you did. 
was it Photoshop or something? Doesn't really matter. Painted it out. I like that you did that. Very, very cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one's from, uh, from Koto Clothes. This is pretty intense. This is quite the scene here. It's a helicopter rescue, lost your buddy kind of thing. I dig it. Very, very scary. Definitely wouldn't want to be in this person's situation, but you're doing a good job. Zeus creates. That's cool. Dang, I love this feeling, man. I love this style so much. Hopefully the chains will be dangling as this thing moves. I don't know if it's a train or whatnot, but that's going to be sick. Zeus creates good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, wow. So this is actually an underwater scene. It looks like. Let's see if I can play the animation. Oh, it's a full on underwater like. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Very interesting. Can't wait to see how you make this a thing and what you turn this into. That's going to be sweet. Salty nugget. That's going to be fun. Let's see who else we got. Pickle. So this one, I'd really try and get your window up a little higher and match the the position of the original window. This one's a little low. Just keep that in mind. Um, you want to get closer to the original template window in terms of position but i love your fancy uh train setup you got going i think that's gonna be sweet pickle good times 3d gala all right let's test this one out let's see what you got going oh my god attack on titan dude that's so cool This dude's about to commit suicide and this was this dude these okay these are world german world war ii outfits they look kind of like that is this dude playing cards and this dude's about to kill himself whoo brutal brutal it's the last last escape but i guess he's not gonna escape that's cool man Super cool, super, super cool. I love it. I love that you took that window and you like, you're still having the focus here on the center. That's awesome. Can't wait to see your connector down here. That's gonna look super cool. Your dynamics are gonna look cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, Braben, we got a little, a little sneak peek, a little work in progress here. This is looking cool. Sci-fi train, sci-fi city. You got ads on the back of the seat. I love it. Good stuff, man. Keep it up. Keep it up. Ooh, okay. Sketchy salamander. You have a centrifuge um, zero gravity training machine. This is a wonderful idea. Dude, absolutely wonderful idea. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I love me some G-forces, so it'll be super cool to see that. Yes, 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 yes. Who else do we got? I'll do a couple more here. Haha, <laughs> I love this. Okay. Tom the Tank Engine, you got a little concept that you drew out. I love it very, very much, man. Crushing it. And this is where you're at right now. 
Cool. Yeah, I dig it. I think you're gonna do it out of cardboard and like kids crayon kind of style. I love it. Tom the Tank Engine, can't wait to see what you do there. Ooh, Bouncy Hippo. Nice little uh, steampunk work in progress. It almost looks like a stop motion or claymation or something like that. That's gonna be sweet. I'm down for this, this train ride. Bouncy Hippo, good stuff. All right, and I think that is about it. Um, Baldasaur, let's check that out real quick. Sleepy Soldier, hopefully Sleepy Soldier. Cool little reveal of the background there, I like it. Ooh, and you can get some steam outside the window too. That's cool. Down, keep it up, that looks good. Baldasaur. I think that's it for now, y'all. That is it for now. I appreciate you sending in your works in progress, showing them the community, getting them excited for all this stuff. Um, I think that's just, that's just about it. That's about it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me, for chilling. Um, where are y'all? Where are y'all at? Let me get that chat back. It's somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> good times, y'all. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you here next week. I will be here next week um, doing the same old deal. Hopefully, I'll be a little further along the way uh, in my submissions. So, much appreciated, y'all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to Soda Monte holding it down, helping me stream, streaming, producing, killing it. Um, and to all y'all, keep up the great work. I can't wait to see what we do. Keep sending me your works in progress. I'll show some more on the stream next week. Hopefully have a little bit more progress done with mine. I would love to be into like the kind of fine tuning, not fine tuning, but like most of the modeling and geometry is, is in place. That's where I'd like to be next week. So hold me to it. All right. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but until then, love y'all. Thank you so much. Hop on the discord. Keep up the good work and share all that love with the community keep them excited and until next time i'll catch y'all next week peace out